In the previous video we learned about lit HTML and now in this video we're gonna learn about lit element which is a tiny sugar on top of web components that allows you to use lit HTML and web components in a very efficient way. So let's take a look. So I'm still using the same source code. I'm just gonna go to my terminal and install lit element. Okay, now that lit element is installed, I can go back and remove these lit HTML imports. And now I can import lit element and the HTML tag template from at polymer lit element. And now we have to change minor things and rather than extending from HTML element, we will extend from lit element. So lit element is this base class that already extends HTML element and just gives us a little bit more sugar. And you see it's still quite small. It's less than six kilobyte gzip. And now let's go ahead and take everything that has to do with the template and remove this render call. And let's create a render method on our app navbar. And from this render method, we just have to return a template result. So we have to do return HTML. So I'm just gonna paste my code over here. And this template over here, this is what I have to return. I can do return HTML. Now I do want to simplify all of this. So I'm just gonna go back and get the navbar result. The navbar description, which was over here. I will remove the loop and I'll remove the app menu and remove the theme. So if you take a look at this, the render method is returning an HTML tag template. So it returns a template result of all of this. So we have the styles that only apply to my element. We have the h3 and we have the paragraph. Now let's go back to the top. We don't necessarily need to have anything in the constructor. So I'm just going to remove it. There's no need to, to attach shadow. That's going to be automatically done in lit element. If you want to keep those connected callbacks, we have to call super.connected callbacks, but I'm not going to need them. So I'm just going to remove them. And let's go back and reload the page. Now you see I have the same result as before. And that's very nice because the syntax is very eloquent and it's not verbose. And I'm simply just creating an app navbar. And then I extend lit element and I define the render method. And this render method is the method that will be called every time the component needs to re-render. Now lit element also gives you lifecycle hooks like first updated. And this first updated will call once your component has first updated. So first time component updated and then if I reload the page first time component updated for both and there are other ones as well but this is the one that I frequently use and now we could simplify this a lot by using some of the features of lit elements so I could just define a static get properties and in here I have to define what kind of properties do I expect so let's say theme and then the type of it is simply gonna be a string. And over here you could do string, number, boolean, it will just work. Now that I've defined these properties over here, I could just read it in the render method. So I could do console log this dot theme, and let's take a look. Now the theme is undefined for the first one and dark for the second one. And now what I could do is I could just say app navbar and then use this dot theme. And this will show me app navbar dark or app navbar light. You could also use the destructuring syntax over here. So const theme equals this, because this will be useful if you had multiple variables over here, like theme and something else, but we just have one. And then that would be theme. And now let's reload. And this is app navbar and this is app navbar dark. There are a couple of more features in lit element. I just wanted to show you that getting started with it is relatively easy. And if you feel that some things are new, that's most likely not because of lit element, that's because they are new in the web platform. They are part of the web component spec. And that's something I really like. So lit element is just a tiny layer on top of web components. And I think that makes it future proof, which is a good thing. So let me know what you think about these three videos. And if you want to see how to build a sample application with lit element. So we will start from scratch rather than having to evolve from web components to lit HTML to lit element. We will have multiple components and you'll see how you can pass functions around and how you could do events. And I'll see you next week.